Okay, hello. Hello. So I'm uh just bought a ghastly charger off of eBay and uh, playing World of Warcraft so I can retrieve this mount. And one of the things I had to do was go to this fucking realm here. Mount kill fucking, I don't know, some shit. What do you say? Eh, Malganis. Horde. Which is normally what I play. And a death knight. Why a death knight? I don't know. But we're not here to judge. We're just here to get a fucking ghastly charger. So I am going around playing, trying to get this shit started so at least I can get to where I need to go to redeem it. Unless, by some strange means, he's just going to transfer the actual mount to me, which doesn't really make a lot of sense, because when you redeem the fucker, it goes straight to your collections. So, yeah. I don't know. But uh, playing as a Death Knight definitely takes me back. I remember when these... Uh, these bitches first came on scene and fucking everybody and their fucking grandmother wanted to be a goddamn death knight. So you fucking brand new character class, first new character class World of Warcraft had since allowing, I mean if you want to say paladins and shamans being allowed on either side of the fence, but this is the first real, real new class. So there was fucking everybody and their goddamn grandmothers was a fucking death knight. And uh, when they first came out, they were fucking... It was ridiculous. Like, fucking... Uh, if you were rolled the undev, the uh, unholy, you were fast as fuck. You had all these minions and shit. Fucking shit was just ridiculous. And it took a lot of nerfing and a lot of other shit to go down. I uh, only played long enough to fucking uh, test out the new starting scene, which I thought was pretty awesome at the fucking time, uh, and try it out. And uh, so far from what I've seen on this server, it's been all Horde. All motherfucking Horde. Which is, uh, since Malganis is a PvP server, good thing for the Horde. Shitty for the Alliance. Uh, so yeah, fuck it. So yeah, just waiting for E-L-U-S-H-E is the dude's name to come back online and get this shit going. Uh, new to the whole YouTube game, so I don't know really anything about what I'm doing right now. So I can just describe what I'm doing, and you fuckers that are all junkies on this bullshit game, like I am, will know exactly what I'm talking about. And if you're not, you'll be like, what the fuck is this dude rambling about? So, yep. Yeah. Just going through, do to do, trying to power my way through quests. That way I can get to Ogremar. And then down to Booty Bay to redeem the Ghastly Charger. Yeah. You know, it was really cool doing this the first fucking time I did this, but the. 45th fucking time doing this? Mm, that's cool anymore. I mean, I already got another server at level 100 Death Knight that I've been bouncing back and forth between Unholy and Frost and Unholy and Frost. Which, up until about, I don't know, six months ago, uh, I never really played all that much because my buddy, he played as a Death Knight and it just seemed a little redundant trying to get in raids and shit with them when you're fucking two death knights. I mean, it's just not... I don't have the patience to be a tank. I mean, if one of us was a tank uh, and the other, you know, whatever, either Frost or Unholy, it wouldn't be a problem. But that's not the case. Both of us were playing DPS. And so, not really... I mean, just... It didn't... It just wasn't practical. So I would play on, uh, on my other... One of my many, many other hundreds. And, uh... Yeah, but now he's gone. He don't play no more. 
left me all alone. Definitely understand why he doesn't play anymore. I mean, shit is so fucking stagnant right now. It's ridiculous. Um, there's just nothing going on. I mean, like, fucking... Fucking, I got the ring, legendary ring, on... Like, seven? Seven of my characters. Seven. All right? When I was doing that shit on Mist of Pandaria, I got one. One character. Got his cloak. Now, I have... I don't even know how many. Fucking, whatever I just said. That many fucking people with their rings. And, uh, it's like... And that shit gets old. I mean, I just, uh... Leveled up a, a hunter to low. One hunt, uh... Well, he's getting there. He's like level 95 right now. But, I mean, I just don't even have the motivation. It's just like, what the fuck? One, hunters are overplayed as a motherfucker. So it's like, oh, yeah, yeah. Another fucking hunter in World of Warcraft? Oh, what joy. What fucking great, amazing things to have yet another hunter. Watch out, everybody. Another hunter. Hmm. So I just don't care. I mean, I just, I, I don't care. Will I take the time to give him his ring? Probably not. Um, I don't know, maybe when there's more excitement or some bullshit going down, but there isn't. It's just been fucking blase. Like, oh yeah, I've, you can, you can raid. Dude, there's three fucking raids. And once you've done them a couple times, they really lost their luster. There's not really a whole lot to chase down, I mean, fucking, you got your set pieces, and, I mean, those are cool, I guess, but not that cool, I mean, it's not like there's any cool mounts, you get that one fucking crazy looking demon dude if you do, uh, able to kill Archimon, which apparently, is pretty hard to do, I haven't done it in anything, any normal or higher, I just, uh, got fed up with the rating scene. I'm not a very patient person, so, I mean, I think I did Black Rock Foundry once in regular. I never even got all the way through fucking, uh, do the other one because, you know, Hellfire Citadel. Because I fucking guild, I'd be in a couple of guilds with the different characters and they'd be fucking bouncing around. They'd get through like three or four and then even that shit would take like fucking four hours. And I'm not a amazing player by any means. Um, I get bored real easily, so playing like an hour per boss when there's fucking 13 of them or whatever fucking mini are in that raid, just, mm, no. No, not, not really my cup of tea. So, I mean, I guess that. But I, I, I just don't have any, I don't feel any incentive. Like, when I was getting to this point in Mist of Pandaria where everything was done, all the content was out, we were just waiting for some new shit, then they're like, oh, well, if you fucking, if you kill, you know, fuckface, Garrosh, Hellscream, on uh, anything other than LFR, you can get your happy ass a heirloom item that will help you in the next expansion. Do I have that shit? No, I don't have that shit now. All I got is, ooh, to get a fucking amount that is the fancy reskin of the fucking, the golem that you can make anyways. That was in the last game. It's like this expansion they fucking made, like six designs for mounts, and they just recolored the fuck out of them. And, you know, I mean, that's not totally uncommon for World of Warcraft, but it's just, I don't know, it's just the same ones over and over again, and if you can't, you know, to have the patience of the time to get a particular kind of mount, color. You can get the same kind of mount by doing some other dumb shit. Like, uh, I remember I spent fucking hours, hours, camping Pound Fist. Just fucking days, weeks, shit, all kinds of shit, right? Just getting in groups, sitting there for hours on end, fucking pounding this, you know, because he looked fucking awesome. I was like, yeah, I want to I wanna get this fuck, and I don't want to take the time to do it during raids. And whatever the fuck. What was it? A dungeon challenge? No, that's Yeti. How are the fuck you got him? I don't know. But by getting him the other way, I just said, fuck it. I just want to find him. So, I did that. Camped him. Stole the fuck out of him from a bunch of Alliance. Kind of made my day a little bit. But, 
And then I got him, and I was running around him with my little bastard fucking Gronling mount. I'm fucking thinking I'm cool as shit, right? And, uh, yeah, no. No. It just, then they come out with the last patch, you know, fucking Timeless Isle 2.0. And you can just get one of those motherfuckers by a follower quest. The Cold Fist. Gronling. Follower quest. Talk about no effort. You just fucking go in, log in, send your motherfucker on that shit, and booyah, there's your fucking awesome grondling mount. You know, it was really uncommon, but now everybody fucking has one. Why? Because fuck me, that's right. Fuck all those hours I spent camping that son of a bitch. I was so proud of myself, too. I thought, like, the Pound Fist was going to be, like, the next, you know, fucking uh, Timeless Proto Drake or that fucking whatever dragon that's in the fucking whatever the fuck, I don't know, Cataclysm was kind of a wash for me, but that motherfucker you know, just any of those rare spawn camping motherfuckers, but no not at all, now everybody has the mouth that looks exactly the same you know, I you can just fucking log in, maybe you get lucky one day, go get your fucking go get your little groundling mount make me all upset and uh, I don't know it's just like this game has lost a lot of its fucking exclusive Exclusivity? Exclus is that a word? I don't know. If it is a fucking word, great. If not, well, fuck you. But, that being said, it's just like... Shit. I remember coming on this game at fucking, uh... What was it called? Oh, yeah. Vanilla. When this game first fucking came out. Right? Came, got a copy of this game. And, uh... I played it a little bit, but I was fucking poor. I mean... You scouted up enough money to get a game, you got a game. This was the first fucking MMO, which required... No, not the first fucking MMO, but it was like the first MMO I ever played that monthly subscription was just fucking ludicrous to me. So, But I loved the franchise. I mean, I played fucking 2, 3, and on. And, you know, I was like, natu World of Warcraft was a natural just fucking next step for me. Well, I just would really want to try it out. So I got it. Tried it out. Really confused. Got pissed off, ran out of money, my subscription ran up, so I stopped playing. Uh, then I got back on. My first character was a fucking dwarf paladin. And vanilla, fucking terrible. Alright, you're just running around. Especially if you don't know what the fuck you're doing. I'm just going around, hitting things with my little seals and fucking switching and bullshit and fucking really taking a long time to kill anything. It was slow, and it was painful, and it sucked, and I hated it. And I was like, you know what? Fuck this game. But I decided to give it another chance. Uh, I think the next time I rolled the hunter. Yeah, I think I rolled the hunter. Run rolled an orc, orc hunter. And I came to the realization that, with the exception of the warlock, playing vanilla without any friends, fucking hunter, warlock, only two ways for you to go. Because me... Yeah. I mean, it was my dirty little secret that I played these kind of games all the time. Anyways, but you nevertheless, like, hey guys, you want to go and uh, play some World of Warcraft? Huh? Yeah. It's really cool. I'm fucking. Back then, I was in my 20s and playing. I felt like fucking. I don't know. I just felt. Did feel right. Alright. I just. Never a bunch of a online player. And, you know, the whole thing, I was still filling it out, anyways. So. Played a little bit of my, uh. A fucking orc and had a good time with it he had made some leather whatever the fuck had a good time I mean like it was a uh, it was kind of complex I mean because hunters are not like hunters they are today you had to fucking equip everything under the goddamn sun oh you want a bow cool you can do your range attack or you have your gun whatever the fuck you fucking oh you want to do who two-handed you can do that shit too you gonna go fucking one two-handed weapon yeah we got you cool no problem fuck it and, uh, yeah, but, uh, the shit you had to do back then was just nuts. I remember after I got a little bit more familiar with the game, I was like, you know what I want to make? I want to make an engineering hunter, mm -hmm. right? But I hated the lines. I, I, I think it was after playing Warcraft 3 and... The way that the alliance was portrayed to be as such—I mean, like there was just fuck up after fuck up. You had Arthas, and then you had that one fuck that just fucked over all the elves and let them fucking go on their own. It wasn't really a high note for the alliance. These are guys 
who allowed their entire kingdom to be destroyed. Humans were on the verge of extinction. If it wasn't for Jaina fucking leading those refugees over to go fight the real threat, all of them would have been those fuckers would have been wiped out. And so these are the guys that I'm coming back to on a high note for fucking World of Warcraft after them just being general douchebags. And this is the race I want to play? No. And also another thing I was personally, you know, maybe me because I'm a sloppy fat fuck with big holes in my ears, uh, that I never really understood the point of being a human, I'm a human now, when I could be some sort of fucking giant beast monster dude. That always just seemed more appealing to me. So, hey, or it was. But there was no single race class combination that you could get in vanilla where this was a feasible reasonable option without doing a shit ton of running like if you fucking if you wanted to be a hunter that used a gun well you had to be a tyrant oh but you want to do engineering too because that's fucking the best class best profession for being a hunter guess what your happy ass was gonna go on a run to Ogremar. run to Ogremar. Awesome. And that's what you had to do. But like say like, oh, maybe I'll just be an orc. They have the engineering guy right there. <laughs> well, back in the day, you couldn't just use any weapon. You just couldn't be like, oh, my class race picks this up. I can play this shit. Fuck no. All right, you can do that shit. Fuck no. You had to go find weapon trainers just to use that weapon. And that shit got expensive. Everything in that fucking game had money wrapped all around that shit. Oh, you fucking... Oh, you want to do knives? It's not in your fucking... Didn't come with your fucking choosing a class from the get-go? Ha <laughs> ha, go spend money. Oh, not to mention, skills. Every single time your happy ass leveled up, you had to buy a whole new set of fucking skills. Sound fun? Hmm? There was plenty of times where I'd level up and I'd have to look at the skills that were available to me and see if I wanted to get, hmm, do I want to get this fucking, this new ability right there that I've never tried before might be awesome, or do I want to get some shit that I use on a regular and make it better? I usually ran out of money, and I just have to pick one and fucking hope for the best. And so here I am with all these outdated fucking skills, doing not nearly as much damage as I could be doing, but I didn't give a fuck. I mean, it's like, who do I have to impress? Me. I didn't play with anybody else. God, the fucking, and the group dynamic in that shit was fucking ridiculous. If you didn't have a fucking a horde of homies that were just like, yeah, let's go play this fuck out of this shit, you would have to fucking sit outside of a dungeon, screaming, looking for group. Uh, and I know on the horde side, I would spend fucking hours outside of uh, whaling cabins. Hours. Trying to get a group together. And you try, you try, you spend all this fucking time getting this group together. You get a group together, and healer fucking just decides to quit and bounce. All right, hours wasted. Get a little bit in the dungeon, and everyone who's not performing up to his fucking satisfaction. Bye, I'm out of here. Or finding a fucking take for that matter. <laughs> Luckily, back in them days, a shaman could almost tank. Almost almost there. So if you had a good enough healer and a shaman, you were alright. But you just had to make these stupid ass little compromises. You fucking just try to hope, hope for the best, figure it out. Fuck it. We're gonna go. We're gonna go do it. Not get very far. I don't think I ever successfully started Wailing Cavern from start to finish on one go around with one fucking group until the raid finder came. I mean, the group looking for group finder. First fucking time. Struggle is real. And dude's still not online. Fuck. But anyways. More reminiscing while I'm looking around. So, I remember... Gave up on the hunter. And somehow ended up with the warlock being my favorite class. Uh, this is, yeah, about time Burning Crusade came out. So, Burning Crusade comes out. Jump on make me a what was it? Blood Knight, the Blood Elf. Well, yeah, no, that's good. Get all excited, right? Start leveling them up. And uh 
you know, I want to poke around out and see what the fuck's going on, but I am still not 100% savvy at this fucking game yet. And, uh, so, go in. And, uh, you couldn't get to Outland if, one, you weren't high enough level, two, if your server hadn't opened up the gates yet. So you, being the lovely, friendly, fucking idiot that you are, had to go contribute all kinds of dumb shit, like fucking, you had to give them, like, bandages and food and all, whatever the fuck. You just had to give up all this shit. And once your server got enough of each item, then they would go open up the portal. So back in those days, saying that you were realms first, fucking you're the first realm to go into Outland, that was a big fucking deal because you had to do all this shit. There was like, like halfway through the fucking expansion, motherfuckers didn't even open up the black portal yet because there wasn't enough community involvement to open that shit. My God, if they tried that shit nowadays, people would have a fucking heart attack. I tell you that. What? What? The whole server has to do something? Linen bandages? Why the fuck do we need this? Why do we need fucking 10,000 linen bandages? Nobody wants to do that. Wouldn't happen. Nah. Not with this little group of people. But we, but back in those days, motherfuckers were all about that shit. They would be fucking out there for days. Go grinding linen, making linen bandages to go turn in that motherfucker so the realm had enough so they could open up the fucking gates. So, right about that time, Right about that time is when I joined the Navy, right? So, at this point, me and World of Warcraft had kind of a love-fucking-hate relationship because Wind Boot, right? Fresh Blood Elf, Warlock, loving it. Had to stop. Went to boot camp. You know, that shit went down. The, and I remember being there some of the fucking, uh, the motherfuckers, the, uh, not the RDCs, the recruit division commanders, but some of the dudes that were in, that were training us or whatevs. Yeah, they were like, "Old oh, man, fucking all you World of Warcraft players out there, Burning Crusade is fucking awesome." Blah blah blah. So, get out of boot camp, get through my first day school, get to my first command, Japan. Got married en route. Couldn't have the little lady with me, so eventually, start playing again, right? So, get real excited, get my first fucking character up to level 60, start rolling around Outland, and, uh, something happened. I don't remember what happened. But I had to stop, right? So I had, like, a little fucking 63 warlock. He's in Outland. First fucking time. Pretty excited. I was hanging out in Zagar Marsh. And, uh, had to stop playing. Then, Wrath the Lich King came out. Looked pretty fucking awesome. I mean, I wasn't into all the fucking hype. Uh, about, you know, killing Arthas and the rest of that shit. But I was pretty excited about the scenery and all the rest of that shit. Like, being a real old, world, I mean, Warcraft player, there's just some shit that didn't make sense to me. Like, even when we went out to Outland, they're like, oh, we get to kill Illidan. Why the fuck are we killing Illidan? What the fuck did he do to us? Yeah, he's a fucking serving the Burning Legion or whatever the fuck. But, you know, he's not really doing anything. He's just kind of chilling there. It wasn't even him that opened up the portal back to Azeroth in the first place. This is the fucking stupid-ass demon dude that spawns like Midnight or whatever the fuck his name is. If you fight him again in Kazakh, Cruz, whatever the fuck his name is. It was that dude. He wasn't even a threat. But they're like, hey, fuck it, we can kill him. So people are like, hey, let's go kill this guy. And that was the most important thing. Like, it still didn't make any sense to me. Still doesn't make any sense to me, but we killed him. Great, hooray. So, Wrath Lich King comes out. I get it. Start playing again. Go to log in. My little asshole fucking blood elf warlock just chilling there, fucking in Zagar Marsh. Hanging out in that one spot. And everybody's fucking flying around me. Burning Crusade players. Vanilla players. Remember how much fucking gold it costs to get mounts and to fucking just to learn to ride them? I don't, I'm trying to remember. I think at first it was cheaper to get the license than it was the actual mounts, but I could be remembering shit wrong. Obviously, this is fucking like 10 years ago, and I'm old as fuck now, so I mean, shit ain't working so well up here anymore. But I just remember being expensive as fuck. It was like 2,000 gold to fucking fly an island, and I was just saving up 
and I was saving up, and I was saving up, and I was saving up, and they fucking like dropped the fucking flying speed price to like 200 gold. I was so fucking mad. So fucking mad. I deleted my character. Made a death knight. Played his intro, and fucking said, Peace out, World of Warcraft. I ain't got time for your shit. So, more time goes by, and Cataclysm comes out. Nothing exciting for this guy going on in Cataclysm at all. Didn't really play Wrath of the King. Made a Death Knight, deleted my Warlock, called it a fucking day. That was it. Ooh, he's on. I'm all caps. What up? Stop fucking capping. What up? I did as you asked. His name is your drunk. But one word your drunk. Yep, you're drunk. Alright. Let's fucking do this. Give me my fucking mound. I've only been sitting here ranting for God only knows how fucking long. I don't even know how I'm going to get this on the internet. That's how fucking brand spanking new I am. But. Oh yeah. It's happening. So, still waiting. So, while I'm waiting for him to fucking. What the fuck? Oh yeah. Do I have to talk to somebody? Hey. Fuck face. Take me back. Yeah. It's working. Fine. Fuck the system. But anyways. Uh, what was I saying? I don't even know. I don't even know what the fuck I was saying. Saying some shit. World of Warcraft. Uber nerding out over here. Oh. Yeah. Cataclysm. Nothing exciting. Deathwing. Who the fuck is that? No idea. Why do I care? I don't care. So... Whatevs. I kind of glossed over that one. And then, uh, Mr. The Pandaria came out. Another new class. Another race. The Pandarian was a bit of a stretch. The whole expansion looked kind of silly to me, but I was like, you know what? Fuck it. Let's check it out. Checked it out. And I am probably the only person on the internet that loved Mr. Pandaria. I fucking love that shit. I ate shit out of its ass with a big old spoon. It was just... I digged it. I mean, like, it was the first time. The very first fucking time I had a character who was max level. It's the first time I ever got flying mount. First time. First time I ever did endgame content. The first time that, uh... I did those raids and all the rest of that shit. I was way stoked. Right, that was my that was my crowning moment. I mean, that was just years and years of me going places and just didn't have enough time to even fucking do even the simplest of shit. Missed all this shit going on. And that was it. And I thought it was really good. I had a really good time with it. A lot of really cool things going on. A lot of cool storytelling. People just get so fucking caught up in the whole Kung Fu Panda nonsense that they just refused to see what they were doing and they were really painting a wonderful story about what happens to a country when war is introduced to it and uh, I thought it was amazing I thought it was fucking fantastic and uh yeah they had its problems yeah there was all these things that just weren't quite what the fucky but with all the things that were what the fucky there was also something great going on because they were trying so many new things they're trying to do things in different ways um and i mean i thought it was great and so you know i just i got kind of just scratched my head and fucking didn't understand what people were talking about saying that this is the shittiest expansion ever i mean fucking i never even played cataclysm but even playing through the content later 
I didn't even, I didn't, I mean, like, I, I like the whole new redesigned World of Warcraft, because quests made sense, things flew together, you actually had shit to do in every zone, not like vanilla, you'd fucking get an extra quest, it'd send you to the other side of the fucking planet, and then you'd just be sitting there with your dick in your hand, wondering what the fuck happened. God, I mean, like, back in the day, nothing was easy, nothing was fucking easy, like, you wanted a new animal form for a druid? Well, you had to go on this long fucking quest line, you wanted a new demon? Warlock, you had to do a whole bunch of shit. And it was like that for everybody. Everybody had individual class class quests. I don't... And, you know, there's a lot of, like, ownership. So if you fucking had someone back in those days who had that dread steed, that was a committed-ass motherfucker. That was committed as fuck. And you just don't see that anymore. The only, the only even sign of close thing that I saw, green fire quest for Warcola. Warcola. Blech. Warlocks. Green fire quest. And doing that in uh, Miss Pandaria, no joke. No joke. You know, I'd be watching videos and shit. I did everything I had to do to do it, make it happen. Watching idiots do it, and they're just like, ah, oh, man, this is so fucking easy. Mechanics. Mechanics, mechanics, it's so fucking easy. Man, I've tried that shit for days, hours. I'm not patient, all right? Me putting that much commitment into anything is no fucking joke, all right? And then I just said, fuck it, because Warlords of Draenor coming closer, and I had to work on my cloaks, had to get my heirloom weapons and shit, and, uh, yeah. So I'm online, and, uh, so I had all these fucking things to do and I was just getting too frustrated on that shit. So I just said, fuck it. I'll wait until uh, Wild comes out and then I'll go back and I'll fucking melt face with that son of a bitch. I think I waited like fucking got home dude up to like 94 or some shit and I went back and I did and I fucking cakewalked. Fucking cakewalk. So yeah, I got green fire. Did I really work hard to get it? No. I was, I mean, I worked hard up to that point, but I couldn't fucking beat the boss. I, I just, I just fucking, I was, I just, no, mm, nope, no, and that was that. Nothing. And then I got it, and then I, I mean, I'm happy that I have it, and it's cool that I have it, but at the same time, I just felt like I just, and I got handed things. So, yeah. So, got on what? First day ever dropped. Super excited. Ran through up all the characters. Storytelling was great. Questing was great. All these cool things were going down. Fucking, and when the first fucking dungeon ca raids came out, woo! Everybody was about that shit. Oh, you done high mall? You gonna do a high mall? Motherfuckers doing high mall? Fucking high mall everywhere. It was kind of awesome. Everyone was excited. People were like fucking really looking forward to seeing where things went. And it just started slowing down. Because nothing was really happening. Garrison, quests, do all that shit. Pretty cool. Cool first. I remember being all excited, fucking trying to get as many goddamn followers as I could. And, uh, after a while, I was like, yeah, I'm getting all this shit. I have more money than I've ever had before, ever. They're introducing fucking all this other shit. And then, you had your character boosts. I'm not gonna lie. I boosted a couple of characters just because I didn't want to go through the trouble of leveling them. But did I feel connected to these motherfuckers? No, I did not. I did not feel connected. I just felt like meh. Made a druid because I always wanted a druid. Meh. Now the motherfucker went offline. How the fuck am I gonna get shit? I've been sitting here. It's like, oh, okay, you're here. Good. Nothing. I mean, we're not. I mean, we're not in a guild or anything, so maybe have to wait an hour. I don't know. But still wait. So I'm still gonna talk to nobody while I'm waiting for this fucking shit to come. I'm gonna just keep talking. The motherfuckers here. Anyways, had a good time, wadding, wadding it up, spit wads, fucking getting all these weird little mounts. 
Oh man, look, it's a graphically upgraded fucking pig mount. We didn't have pig mounts before. Pig mounts are pretty cool. Oh, fucking. Now we got some hippopotamus mounts. Hippos. Terrifying. I don't know about you, but hippos are terrifying, man eating sons of bitches. Tigers? <laughs> fuck that shit. Don't want to be a hippo in your water in its natural habitat. Territorial as fuck. But, let's need to hear that. Hippo mounts, right? New Elix models look pretty cool. Fucking new wolf mounts. But that's it. You got the fucking. You got, you got the Elix. You got the towel book. You got the fucking. The other guys. I don't know. But it was just the same fucking mounts over and over and over again. Oh! You want this mount? Well, get this faction up this high so you can get a fancy fucking new goddamn color. <sighs> Not a new color. Fuck, man. I really want to do all this extra work so I can get a fucking different color mount of the same motherfucker that I got. It wasn't even like they were like really cool, awesome ones. No. All the really cool, awesome ones you had to buy in the fucking store. All right? The Grinning Reaver. Awesome mount. Looked awesome. I fucking, I probably have sex with it. But what you had to do? Go spend money. Couldn't get it. Couldn't get it. Had to buy it. That was like all the cool, really, really cool mounts. Went to the fucking store. And like, uh, yeah, just said. And then, for some reason, we never got that flamey fire fucking wolf mount. You know, the one that's fucking, that the, uh, the black hand dudes. That one looked awesome. Really wanted that mount. You can tame it as a pet if you're a hunter, but I wanted to ride that bitch. The Alliance, you know what they got? Metal, flamey, fucking elephant goodness, all right? Just big demon, fucking horny elephant goodness. What do we get? Hmm? You know? Laughing Skull Rep got us another colorization. Of a wolf. That's exactly what I needed. More different colors. I got a fucking rainbow of color of the wolves arrives. No burning fucking on fire wolves. No. Well, motherfucking Alliance got burning fucking fire wolf, uh, fire fucking elephants. We ain't got fire wolves. I feel fucking gypped. Bullshit. Still upset about it. And, uh. <laughs> and, uh. And if I get any views after putting this long, ranty fucking horse shit up. I'm going to put my first impressions about uh, this new expansion. Legion. That motherfucker. I just... I'm excited, but I'm also kind of sketchy because there's a lot of weird things that's been going on. So before we get into that, before I even fucking start talking about that, things that have really got me kind of scared about World of Warcraft, this whole franchise as a whole some warning signs, some fucking indicators that keep popping up when I, you know, and I'm just sick and, yeah, I don't know. Some things are really sketching me out. Like, uh, the weekend events. I don't know about you guys, but I've played me a couple fucking of them free-to-play mobile games. Not MOBA. Mobile. Like, fucking... God, there's so many fucking of them. But, I don't, I don't know. There's too many. There's just fucking look them up, look them free to play, download a couple, and uh, you'll start noticing a theme that they have incentive weekends. Where if you do this certain thing on a certain weekend, you'll get extra one of a element X to fucking keep you spending money and to keep you playing the game. These little incentives for playing on different days, all the rest of that shit. And then World of Warcraft had their incentive weekends. And uh, I couldn't put my finger on it at first, but the more I thought about it, the more I realized this is def this is exactly like a free to play fucking mobile cell phone slap ass fucking cheap ass bullshit online game. Pay to win bullshit. 
And I was like, the fuck? Wait, why are we having pay-to-win bullshit going on? I mean, we're not buying anything, but it, why are we having incentive weekends? Why can't we just have this shit? We can't time walk whenever we want. We got to do it like fucking twice a month. All right. Oh, we're going to incentivize pet battling? Pet battling. Pet battling. All right. Pet battle's fine. No problem with it. I've done pet battles. It's rather Pokemon-ish. I mean, it's good time. But really? It's not that exciting where I'm going to do a whole fucking weekend of it. Why don't we just do an archaeology weekend? Hmm? Wait, if you fucking archaeology it up, you can get some fucking extra fragments to go make some shit. No. Alright, we're not fucking... Ar What's... We already have fishing tournaments, but that was just kind of a silly little side note thing. At least we're not having fishing fucking weekends. Fucking Strangle Thorn fishing extravaganza. I'm looking at you, you dicks. Give me not give me my fucking rings. All I want is a fucking ring. But different way. Different day. And uh still waiting. Nothing is happening. <laughs> Anyways. So we got that thing going on. Incentivized weekend. And they have already fucking tried going ape shit on this whole free to play thing. And I'm not hating on them. I mean, they're they're good games. Hearthstone, pretty great. Fucking uh, Heroes of the Storm, pretty great. Not not having any arguments with me from there. Pretty great, pretty great. And uh, and when it comes to the free to play model, they're doing it right, in my opinion, because I've done other free to play games and it's just they're play they're pay to win games. That's they're not free to yeah, they're free to play all right. But if you want to do anything, you're going to have to spend money. Where on these games, you don't have to spend a lot of money. You can just play and you can have a decent card deck. Uh, and people say, "Oh no, that's not true. You have to no. You can get you can do all right. You can do just fine. Just be a better player. Don't don't suck. Fucking or you know those then then fucking Heroes of the Storm, you know, the best thing that you're going to sell is a fucking different skin. It doesn't make you any better. You just continue playing as you are, and you can fucking get a little fancy suit if you pay extra. The only thing that bothers me a little bit is you have to pay for the uh, for the extra heroes. That's that's a little hurt. That that hurts a little bit. But hey, you know they're not. Blizzard's not all about let's make fucking this dude happy. They're all about let's put money in their pockets. And I'm not complaining. I'm not arguing. I'm not fighting. Good job. And then, uh, then, uh, the, uh, buying gold for cash. I was really worried about that. I was really worried. Thought I was going to break the economy. But Blizzard took the time to do it right, and they did it great. And anybody that says otherwise, you're fucking stupid. Because what they did was get you to spend your hard earned money for a trading opportunity. So what you did is you took money that was in game, all right? And they didn't add money to the game. The game, the money was in the game. So people would sell their gold, their hard-earned gold, for game time. Little breaky the fourth wally there, World of Warcraft. But I, I like what you did there. So if people were really good at hustling their fucking their gold grindy game, they can get free game time. And if people wanted gold without fucking hustling, they could buy it with their own money for shit that was already there. So if they had take if they had actually done the opposite and just fucking, you know, just add money for no apparent reason, it would it would have just broken the economy, broken it as a motherfucker. But instead, they took money that was there actually already there. So every single realm, every single fucking server, horde, and fact, whatever the fuck. They are kept in check balances by themselves. So some realms you'll get more gold for mu for for cash. Other realms you won't get as much. That's cool. That's good. You know it kind of knocks the whole buying gold thing on its ass because you can do it safely through their own server. Is it sad that it's a thing? Yeah. Do I like it? No. But if they had to do it. They did it right. That's just thoughts from this consumer. If you don't like it, fuck you. So, I mean, that's not too bad. But we, what are we going to do next? What's the next fucking step? We already have incentivized weekends. All we need, I was like, 
Oh, the professions. The professions was the next thing I was fucking. Oh, got blurry for a second. The uh, fucking incentives. I mean, the the fucking the professions got me worried too. I was like, ooh, this can go bad because I don't even want to say this because I don't want them getting any ideas. But I'm pretty sure they already had it. But uh, all they had to do was make it so that you can buy for money. Uh, daily caps. So like instead of fucking uh, just getting one or two, I mean get making one of that item per day, you can make three or four by spending real money. And then if they had done that shit, that would have really fucked shit up early game. Not so much now. Now everybody has everything, but all those those profession made items where you can upgrade it and upgrade it and upgrade it. It took a long time because if you, unless you were really fucking diligent, going in every single fucking day farming and doing all the rest of that shit, it would take a while before you could have a fully upgraded weapon, or you'd buy that shit for ludicrous amounts of money on the action house. But if you could actually buy to reset and reset and reset and reset. Then you could have had all the materials that you needed within a couple of days and then been murdering face everywhere you go. Luckily, they didn't do that. Looks like they really kind of just gave up on the whole Warlord the Draenor thing. Still ain't got nothing in my mailbox. Oh. He just messaged me. I will tell you when I'm ready. How long are you staying on? I replied, a while. Okay, smiley face. You don't need to do the quest there. Just reach mailbox. It's three to four quests in. Reply, I know. But I am questing. Anyways. I see you're already leveled, lol. How fun. K, winky face. Winky face. What kind of crazy Chinaman person did I eBay this fucking mount from, anyways? I don't know. Great. What else? Moving on. <laughs> One thing that I did find was fucking really funny was people were like, Oh my god. Mr. Pandaria is like a World of Warcraft side story. And then they came out with Warlords of Draenor. Which literally was a side story. They came up with some weird time walking dimension hopping nonsensical horse shit. And uh, said like, okay. So we're going to go into a different dimension, so nothing affects the present. That it fucking, the whole fucking expansion felt like it was fan fiction. All we needed is some fucking awkward hookups and some relationships going on, and then we would have had some full-blown fanfare nonsense. Luckily, no hookups were included. And, uh, I mean, it, it was a great story. The storytelling was fantastic. I mean... And uh, the questing was great, dungeons were great, but it just, nothing, nothing. People complained about the fucking two-year death time of fucking uh, Mr. Pandaria, but holy fuck, we've had two major patches this whole time, and looks like we ain't getting a motherfucking thing until Legion comes out. Not one. We already got our Timeless Isle, so we ain't getting that shit again. So we get this. So... Go level up another character. Work on another ring quest. I've been playing a shit ton of Dragon Age. I have 101 hours with all the spare time that I've had not playing World of Warcraft. I'm not complaining, I guess. He's still just says I need to get to a mailbox. Okay, he's mailing it to me. Well, hello, Blurry. Fuck. Well, I'm not going to waste anybody's, more of anybody's time, and I'm going to stop this video, but I'll let you know if I ever get this fucking thing.